happen if you played VR on a moving plane? Will it play normally, or would you just fly off the map? Well, I'm gonna put that to the test. But first, we need to understand how the tracking works. Right now, I'm outside playing VR. The Quest has cameras that can see and track the outside environment. This is why when you move in real life, it also moves in VR. It's a very advanced piece of technology. So do you think this will ever evolve to be used in everyday life? Well, I tested this by riding a bike whilst in VR. An everyday activity. But will it work? Surprisingly, I was able to bike around city using pass-through mode. Now, I wanted to try to watch a movie while I biked around. But unfortunately, everything in VR is fixed and won't follow you around. However, during this stupid test, I discovered something very cool about VR's track. Even though the virtual menus won't follow you around, they stay exactly where they are, no matter how far you go. Keeping my headset on, I left the virtual menu next to my girlfriend and started biking away. I went pretty far until I decided to turn around and head back. And to my surprise, the menu was still there. It's almost scary how accurate this is because it shows that the VR knows exactly exactly where I am and how far I go. But I want to take this a step further. And so far with the VR, I walked, I biked, and now I'm going to drive. Oh my God. I want to see what would happen if I just start driving with my headset on. But this time, not in pass-through mode. Yes, I literally don't see anything. I'm not in pass-through this time. Let's put it in drive. Can I go? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going. Yo, whoa, it went right through me. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, it stopped. Oh, no, 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 okay. Just make sure I'm not going to hit a pole or something. Now, what if I went as fast as I can? Will the VR tracking keep up? Okay, let's circle around. Let's go back where we were. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Now I'm gonna try to see how fast I can go. I'm gonna go like super fast. Let's see if it still tracks. Two, one, go. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, wait, that worked. Oh, yo, I'm so far away. There's no way I moved up. Oh, wait, I actually did. Whoa, I moved so far. Yeah. Before you see what would happen if I fly a plane with a VR headset on, we need to test one more thing that's very interesting. I thought going fast enough in a car would make the VR glitch out, but it didn't. That's because it would track my speed from the outside. So here's a cool experiment. Remember what I said at the beginning of this video? Essentially, I said that you're able to move in VR because it tracks your environment. But what if I remove the surrounding environment? Well, the VR would just stay still, right? I mean, there's nothing to track. Well, let's just say that the results are not not what you would expect. Now to test this, I rented a U-Haul, which was big enough for me to play VR inside. Then I had my dad drive around. So yeah, I'm basically playing VR in a moving box. The VR has no way to know where I'm going because everything is closed off. Or does it? Okay, go. Okay, so I'm moving right now, normally. No, oh, oh it's moving. What if I, it can't, it can't go, oh, oh, the menu. Oh, what if I go? Oh, oh no, I broke the controller. That's not broken though. Oh, frick. Oh wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. This is not what I was expecting. That's crazy. Is it even possible to play Gorilla Tag in the car? I'm gonna go up there, all the way up there on the treehouse. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can, oh, frick. I can't, it's not tracking my hands. Okay, okay, there we go. I'm going, I'm up here, up here. Yes! No! I got to back. Okay, guys, it's definitely impossible. It's definitely impossible to play Gorilla Tag in a moving vehicle. Okay, you can stop now. You can stop. But what will happen if I literally start flying? Well, my brother's a pilot and for some reason agreed to fly this small plane so I can test this myth. And now that we are cruising at a high altitude, I put the headset on. And as you can see, nothing really happens. Bruh. I guess for some reason, I was just expecting it to randomly just start flying away at 100 miles per hour. But it wasn't working all that well either. For some reason, I would slowly float away. Yeah, a little anticlimactic. As I was expecting to use a plane to my advantage against the sweaty Gorilla Tech players. I'd be the new Gorilla God. Or they'd probably think I'd just have mods. So VR is pretty much useless in the air. And I wasted my money on this dumb experiment. So please subscribe boys or I'll be broke soon. These right here are the top VR games we all know and love. But did you know that if you kept scrolling like all the way down, you find the worst rated VR games. And these games are just terrible. I made a video of me testing and rating each one. You guys can watch it by clicking right here.